Hey guys, it's me again, and um, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade Windows Media Player 9 to Windows Media Player 11 running Windows XP Professional Home Edition or Professional because Professional is the only and Home Edition are the only copies that come with Media Player 9 but if you have Media Center Edition 2005 you should get Windows Media Player 10 as you see I got Windows Media Player 9 I'm going to show you the version that's on here I'll go ahead and go back to it I'm now playing so I ain't got time for that thing to show the media guide or that other garbage so I'm going to go ahead and go to about media player as you see it's the version 9 series First of all, we're going to go ahead and um, open up our browser, right, right here is my little Firefox. This is what I'm going to use. And we're going to go to, type in Windows Media Player 11, into the Google search, and right here it has get Windows Media Player, you can go to the Microsoft link. And it should bring you to the Microsoft page. And this is the current version for XP and Vista because XP if you got Windows Vista, it should come with Media Player 11 already. If you're running Windows 7, you get Media Player 12. It should tell you all right here. So we're going to go ahead and go to where it says Download. And it's going to require you to validate your copy of Windows. And um, it says this is a whole full downloader. But if you're using another browser, you have to um, install a special add on. We're going to go to continue. Let, we gotta run the genuine check. We go to save because I'm using Firefox. I'm gonna go to OK. Click run. And clear that list. And it should give you like a little special code, like a random code to put in. But you don't have to do all this if you're running, if you're using Internet Explorer. Because it's going to take a while for the... We're going to go ahead and paste that little code. And we're going to go to where it says Validate. then you should be able to download Windows Media Player 11 so we're going to click where it says download and it should come up and um, we're going to go ahead and save the download and our download manager should come up close out of that and while that's downloading because that's a small file anyway and get that big VMware thing out the darn way
So now it's not completed, we're going to go ahead and run the executable. And we're going to go ahead and click run. Go ahead and click a downloader. And it should say something about extracting files. And we should get a window coming up sooner or later. There it is, it's starting to get going now. Okay, now since we um, validate our copy of Windows, we're going to do that. We're going to click validate. Some people are not able to get past this point whenever when they install Windows Media Player 11. Sometimes it'll tell them that they may be a victim of software counterfeiting depending on their license key. So we're going to go ahead and I accept and while that's installing, we're going to go ahead and pause for a moment. As you see it successfully installed during the installation it um, kind of removed the icon off the desktop but I will put it back. As you see we're going to go ahead and go to express settings and go to finish. It's going to take like about a minute to get everything set up. You can easily put the icon back if it removes itself, which I'm going to do right now. If my own virtual machine would cooperate right, As you see, that's Windows Media Player 11 completely installed. I don't know why the heck this VMware crap keeps showing up for no reason. Let me uncheck. Let me hide that. Let's see if I can get this time back on the desktop. There we go. And yep, this is version Media Player 11. Therefore. Uh, that's how you upgrade to Windows Media Player 11 on Windows XP. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, thanks for watching.